In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect a laptop to an external monitor. So let's get started. So for this video, I'm going to be using a Windows laptop. But even if you're a Mac user, the process is almost identical. But towards the end, there'll be some changes in the software, which I'll let you know of. So the first step is to identify the ports on the monitor and on the laptop. So on the sides of the laptop, you'll be able to see all of the ports. So over here, as you can see, I have an HDMI port. So some laptops may have HDMI or a VGA port. And using these, you can connect your laptop to the monitor. Now I'll go to the monitor and over here, I'll show you the different ports. So again, it has a VGA port, then HDMI. So now since my laptop and the monitor both have HDMI, the process will become quite simple because all I need to do is connect an HDMI cable from the laptop to the monitor and then it's connected. But it's also possible that your monitor doesn't have an HDMI cable and it only has a VGA port which looks like this. Then what you'll have to do is just get a device which will connect via VGA at one end and HDMI at the other. So now over here as you can see, I have the HDMI cable. So now I'll just connect it to my laptop. Then I'll go to my monitor and I'll connect it over there as well. And here as you can see, my laptop and my monitor are connected. So this is basically the first step of connecting your monitor and your laptop. All that you've got to do is make sure that both are connected either via HDMI or a VGA cable. Now that you've made all of the connections between the monitor and the laptop, I'll show you some of the settings on the laptop which you should go through. So all of these settings are for Windows users, but if you're a Mac user, then I've given an article in the description which will explain the same settings in terms of Mac. So the first one is if you press Windows P, then over here you have four options and these are basically just different modes with which you can use the monitor. So in the first option, the monitor will be off and only the PC will be used. Then in duplicate, both will be identical. Then in extend, you'll basically have two screens. So you can be doing different things on both the screens. And then in the option second screen only, the screen of your laptop will be off and only a monitor will be on. After this, they have some more settings. For that, just right click and then click on display settings. So here, as you can see, they have two blocks number one and number two. And if you just click on identify, then number one is showing for the laptop and number two will show for the monitor. And now what you can do is that based on your setup, you can move around the blocks. So if your laptop is on the right of your monitor, what you can do is just drag number one and put it on the right of number two. And as you can see, it's moved and then just click on apply. So basically based on your setup, you can just identify your laptop and monitor and then you can move it around. After that, there are many settings at the bottom. Over here, the setting, which is called Ease Cursor Movement, I feel is extremely helpful because then using one mouse, you can control your monitor and your laptop and it'll move smoothly between both of them. And now there's one last setting, which is the main display. So currently, as you can see, display number one, which is my laptop. That's my main display. But if I want to make my monitor the main display, I can just click on two and then just click on make this my main display. And then once I do this, all of my controls will go onto my monitor. So then if I want to open apps, close apps, go to settings, everything will be on my monitor. So this is basically how it works. And if this video helped you, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Goodbye.